Hand Out is a club at ISK that 3D prints hands for people around Kenya who don't have hands. And we work with Enable in order to create universal connections with other clubs who are also 3D printing hands. Handout started when our teachers, Mr. Makuri and Mr. Sudra, recruited us for building the prosthetic hand. We looked at the different roles we were going to play and handed them out to enable the future who were gracious enough to lend us documents and files. Um, one of the requirements uh, in order to become a chapter was uh, to print a 3D hand, which we were able to do. Uh, we 3D printed it and assembled it, uh, and consequently we became uh, part of Enable. Despite all the opportunities that we have, the best part of 3D printing a low-cost prosthetic hand is giving it out to those who are in the disadvantaged communities. Paul, a five-year-old, was our first recipient. At the age of four, Paul lost his hand during a farming accident. Using his hand continuously at home as well as in school, during the past year we've been working with him hand in hand, building new prosthetics and altering them as a result of his feedback. We have also taken Paul's preferences into account, allowing for us to create new innovations as well as giving us data to help support upcoming recipients. At 16 years old, Christine Mwende has a dream to become a nurse and help others. When Christine was young, her hand got caught in a piece of farming equipment and badly mangled. She was taken to the nearest hospital, but the damage was too extensive. The doctors made the decision to amputate. Living with her uncle, she's an excellent student who enjoys science along with swimming and football in her free time. ISK's Handout Club wants to help better Christine's life. Christine and her sponsor found us through the Enable Network. Making use of our 3D printer, our goal is to create a mechanical hand that could offer Christine some functionality that she didn't have before. Keeping in mind her love for swimming and the fact that she often cooks, we are looking to provide a hand that is customized to her lifestyle. Although we as a club have provided those without hands the ability to have a basic level of functionality, we are striving to enhance our design in order to make the prosthetics more personalized towards the user. In the case of our first speed poll, we are moving towards implementing a light to the structure of the hand, allowing Paul to pursue his interest in reading as well as providing him with a night light. In Christine's case, one of her passions is swimming, and to help her achieve this goal, we are designing variations of, the, of her hand to allow for ease of use within the Working together with the open source community, which include Open Bionics and Enable the Future, we are working on other designs that revolve around implementing an Arduino, a small localized computer, within the structure of the hand, allowing for a more natural movement, increasing dexterity as well as ease of use. Through this, we are able to present the recipient with a more lifelike hand in the foreseeable future. Through the Interact Club of ISK, we're able to connect with larger groups of people and reach those who are in need of hands. The partnership allows us to have access and resources that were previously unavailable. Through the club partnership, we're also able to reach naval chapters from around the world, as well as international corporations who have the ability to print hands, but no recipients for them. Therefore, Interact will act as a middleman between the two organizations, allowing for a heightened level of collaboration.